A pickup truck is at rest at a stoplight. The light turns green and the truck begins to accelerate. A 20 kilogram toolbox is in the bed of the truck. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the truck and the bed is 0.3, while the coefficient of static friction is 0.4. What is the maximum acceleration that the truck can have before the toolbox begins to slide? So this is a very interesting and important question. Let's start by writing down what is 0.3 and what is 0.4. We're told that the static coefficient of friction is 0.4. So that's mu s. Remember, coefficient of, of friction is mu. Okay, then 0.3 is the coefficient of kinetic friction. So mu k is 0.3. And this problem wants us to find the maximum acceleration that the truck can have before the toolbox begins to slide. So I'm just going to go ahead and write A equals question mark. Now, if it's giving me coefficients of friction, then this problem is obviously about force. And if it asks me to find acceleration, then that means that I'm probably going to need to use our ultimate force equation that relates force to acceleration, which is, of course, the net force, sigma f, equals mass times acceleration. Or rearranged, acceleration is net force over mass. Now, anytime I'm going to look for net force, that is a hint or a clue that I should probably draw a free body diagram and figure out what is that net force. Is it a single force? Is it two forces being subtracted or added? So let's draw a little picture. Okay, here's your truck. It's amazing. You're so excited. You're driving the truck. You're like, yeah, and you're speeding up from the stoplight, and it's an awesome day. You're so happy. Okay, cool. Well, there's a toolbox on the back of your truck. So I'm going to draw this toolbox just like absurdly big. And we'll assume that this is like a flatbed so that you can see where the surface of the toolbox is on the surface of the pickup truck. If you are moving forward and accelerating forward, then there's some, you know, force that you are putting on the ground to make yourself go forward. But the toolbox is not connected to the ground. So the only thing that can cause this toolbox to accelerate with you to the right is a force of friction. That is acting in the same direction as the acceleration. Now, to finish the you know forces, you'd have a weight force down and a normal force up, which I can write it like that if I want. Um, and, and I'm going to assume that the normal force and the weight are equal to each other. OK, so, so now let's talk about this force of friction. What is it? Well, it's static if the toolbox is stuck to the truck bed. So the toolbox can move with the truck. Um, but that won't be kinetic friction because it's still stuck to the truck bed, and we would call that static friction. But at some point, um, the friction between the toolbox and the truck bed would reach a kinetic place where they're sliding past each other. So this would be the point where the toolbox is no longer um, stuck to the truck bed and accelerating with it, but instead it's beginning to kind of slide towards the back because there's a kinetic force of friction pulling it along with the truck, but now they're unstuck and it's just going to sort of slide backwards in the truck bed until it hits the tailgate or falls off. So that's what this last sentence is asking us to focus on. What is the maximum truck, bef uh, maximum acceleration that the truck can have before the toolbox begins to slide? That's asking us to find F smacks or to consider F S max. Because that is the last amount of friction, the highest amount of friction that can exist before the toolbox is no longer stuck to the truck bed and is free to slide around. Okay, so that means that in this scenario, we are looking at the net force as being the maximum force of static friction. So when I want to find the acceleration, I'm going to take F's max and divide it by the mass, which is great. Um, now, let's think about what the force of static friction, uh, maximum static friction, is going to be. It's F's max, so I know that it's equal to mu s, the static coefficient of friction, times the normal force. Now, in this problem, though, I know that the normal force is equal to mg, the weight. So, really, the maximum static friction is equal to mu s times mg.
Okay, great. So, so what do I do with this? Well, to find um, the acceleration of this toolbox, I'm going to take this equation and plug it in for f's max. So I get acceleration equals mu s times the weight mg all over m. Now, I've, I've gone ahead and not plugged in the numbers because I want to show you something that's really important and it comes up pretty often. What if you didn't know what the mass of the toolbox was? What if it was just the toolbox? Well, it doesn't matter because m cancels out. And so now I found that the acceleration, um, the maximum acceleration, is equal to mu s times g, the acceleration due to gravity, or 0.4 times, we'll use 10 meters per second squared. So the maximum acceleration that the toolbox can have is 4 meters per second squared. OK, great. So that's kind of a tricky problem, but that happens a lot in physics, where we want to write things in terms of m and g when we can, because we want to get rid of the mass. Because now we know it doesn't matter what the mass of the toolbox is. It could be 300 kilograms. It could be 2 kilograms. That's what the maximum acceleration of either of those things is going to be, so long as the coefficient of static friction is this thing. Okay, this video was a little bit complicated, but hopefully you got something from it, and it's over.